Howdy, howdy. Welcome back to a brand new episode here on the Craft and Coffee server. Episode number seven. I was just cutting down some crimson fungus trees, whatever you want to call them, because I needed some of this fungus uh, crimson stems for today's project. And cutting down these tr trees or fungus, whatever you want to call them, really does a number on a hoe for the... Uh, the nether wart blocks, the leaves, so to speak. I mean, I've gotten rid of a bunch of them. So this is just some of them that I've kept. But since we're going through uh, durability on my hose so quickly, I'm going to turn it into a, a netherite hoe. There we go. That's some serious dedication. That's right. Now we got a lot more durability that we can work on. Very nice. Thank you. Anyway, in today's project, one of today's projects, we're going to do our best to get this tower done for the uh, iron farm. And I, I need two more uh, building blocks. I need to go get some basalt and some blackstone. And we should be good to go. Um, I'm still getting over a cold, so bear with me if my voice is a little awkward. Um, right now, i just got like a runny nose and stuffiness. But other than that, my scratchy throat and stuff like that is gone. I've got a little bit more energy back, so I am good to go. So just bear with me. I'm going to go get some materials. And we're going to build this tower. Before we get started on building this tower, I want to show you what I've done over the weekend. I have completely flattened out this entire area. I've got all the animals and all my projects that I had here moved over in that area. I've got it all torch spammed because when we make that platform up there, it's going to be darkness down here. And I don't want a mob farm <laughs> down here. Um, but come check this out. I do have more animals. I'm, I'm becoming a hoarder. I've got three of the... Uh, trader llamas i've got the white the cream and the brown now i got two donkeys over here uh oh someone got the tourist destination dwarven nice i think that's just his camera account though so that's not a super big deal we got our horse in here got all my cows moved over here i had i had to slaughter some they they went everywhere there's too many too many cows to bring over here so I had to I had to slaughter some <clears throat> alright so let's get started on building this tower alright so let's start off with some I'll get some black stone in my inventory um, I'm gonna need some of this alright so where this block right here is this is where the beacon is gonna be so this is gonna be the center of the tower so one two three four five gap i'm gonna do a three four and a five i'm gonna come in like this do a two two and then we're gonna do another five one two three four five is that right no that's not right hold on is it one two three four five well that part's right but this part should be like, like this. Yeah, that's better. It should come out like this. And then one, two, uh oh, three, four, five, two, two, one, two, three, four, five, and a two, and a two. There we go. So that's the size of the tower. Now, I need to see how tall this farm over here is. If it's going to load in. So, let's see what the Y level on this farm right here is. So, that gets me to 133. So, that's how tall I want to take that tower over there. So, let me get some building. i got to stretch up these... Uh, these pillars here, what I'm going to do is on all the corners, like right here and here, all this is going to get brought up 
to Y level 133. And then the Crimson Stems is actually going to go in the middle. Like so, I don't want to waste these Crimson Stems. So they're going to go up all the way as well. And then this is going to be glass and black stone in between here. And it's just going to be rep a repetitive pattern over here as well. So we'll put that down. And I'm going to have to be careful. So I can't just like go around in a circle and build this. Because once I get up there close to the iron farm, as soon as I give them a block to spawn on, they're going to spawn on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up one block at a time and go all the way up. And then come back down and go one block. Anyway, you'll see. Maybe we'll have a time lapse here. Maybe. Hopefully. Hey. More iron. Nice. I hope that time lapse come out okay. If not, I'm sorry. <laughs> I did the best I could. Uh, it's basically just me pillaring straight up, coming back down, pillaring up, coming straight back down. But we've only got uh, how much crimson left? So I just had enough. So I only got 46 left. So yeah, it takes a little over, I guess, 12 stacks of crimson stem for this. And I went ahead and finished off the circle up there. Now for these corner bits here is going to be a little bit tricky because what's going to happen let's get rid of my rockets we're going to be going back and forth between blackstone and glass we're going to start off the blackstone like here and then we're going to do glass and then the blackstone is going to kind of go up in an angle like so and it's going to zigzag so I kind of, I got to be paying attention to what I'm doing. So I won't be doing a time lapse for this section, but I kind of give you an idea of how it's going to look. So it's going to zigzag back and forth with the blackstone all the way up. So I'm going to get busy on doing all four of these corners, and we'll come back and we'll see what it looks like. But I'm glad I, I didn't put the iron farm any higher in the sky. Uh, or they'd be spawning on top of the platform. So it's just about the right height. So that worked out pretty good. All right, let me get to work. There she is in all her glory. Look at that tower. That is nice. Turned out really, really cool looking. Now one thing I want to add um, to really make this look cooler at night is to come in here I have to break my way in here. I don't have a way in here now. And what I want to do is uh, on all these uh, blackstone, I'm going to put a torch. Um, can I reach that one? Uh, uh, I can't. I'll use this. 
I'm going to do that all the way up in all four corners. That way, when you're looking in through the windows, it'll be all brightened up. And then we're going to come back in here and we're going to add a beacon. And we're going to see what this looks like as a finished product. So let me get that lighting in here. And we'll come back and we'll put the beacon down here at the floor. But it's turning out really, really nice. I like it. Now that we got torches in each section, kind of giving some extra light in these corners, let's throw a beacon down where it's going to go. So this is where the beacon beam is going to go. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And we'll just fill this in. Just the right measurement. Mainly because I built this in Creative. So that's why it, it's the exact <laughs> measurement of this circle. Alright. Let's get this in. Seven. Put that in. And then we're going to wait for night time and see what this thing looks like as it glows during the night. One, two, three. And bam. So the beacon down and it's going right up in the middle of those villagers nice exactly where I wanted it so we're gonna put paste two it is becoming nighttime and look at this thing glow oh I love it let's swoop in here get a better shot yeah that that torches on the inside really makes the inside really light up and the beacon beam shooting off into the sky. Oh, this is looking beautiful. Now just imagine that in all four corners. And I'm going to alternate the crimson and warp. So warp is going to go uh, in these two corners. And crimson is going to go where the pumpkin and melon farm is. So we're going to have two crimson towers and two warp towers. But this is turning out. Oh, I love this. And then the map platform will sit somewhere right around here. So this is where the map will start. Then we've got all that space underneath to build and do some really cool stuff. That is looking nice. I love it. Okay, let me get back and tell these guys they can sleep. Because um, I told them I needed night for a minute. <laughs> so let me tell them they can sleep now. Okay, let's switch gears for just a little bit. I spent some time and crafted this banner right here it's the official crafting coffee season two hide and go seek banner we're going to play a game a server-wide game of hide and seek with this banner right here so here's the rules this is a very simple game so here's the rules rule number one the person that hides it has to hide it within their base so i can't like go over to the mesa and hide it over there. I can't go hide it in the trees over there because my base is not over there. Um, so it has to be within your base, within a location that you frequently visit. Okay. So let's just say I hide it right here. So when the person comes and finds the banner, they need to be able to find it without placing blocks or breaking blocks. And they need to be able to get to it by walking. So I can't go hide it up on top of my tower. Because the only way you can get up there is by flying. Or by scaffolding. Because if you scaffold. That's placing blocks. So. What other rules we got? Right, no breaking blocks. No placing blocks. It's got to be in your base. And if you are seeking the banner. Once you find it. Like, oh I found it. I got it. Once you have it in your inventory, you've got 24 hours to hide it 
in your base. Let me go sleep. Hold on. That's better. I love the sunshine. Sunshine's a lot better. So, okay. So, it's a very simple game of just hide and seek. Just find the banner, travel to the person that has the banner, go to their base, and look for it. Just walk around. Just don't place any blocks and don't break anything. You're just going to be coming to people's base. You're going to be looking around. And to give a reason to give people to, like, check out your base. So, just don't be opening chests and doing anything like that. To give you a chance, you can fly around and look at my base or whatever. You can come in here. I mean, you can open doors like this. Um, so if I was to place it like right there, you could come in here and be like, oh, there it is. And you break it, and then, then it's your time to go hide it. So I'm going to go hide the banner. And uh, we'll see who finds it first. Hmm. Where should I hide this banner? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ooh, this is a good spot. Right over here. Oh, let's place it right, right there. Ooh, that's a good spot right there. Ooh, that's a good spot right there. Okay, let me go away. Let's fly away. Alrighty, the hide and seek game is officially. Begun. So, who will be the first person to come to my base and find the Crafting Coffee Season 2 banner? Anyway, that's going to do it for today's episode. I'm still a little stuffy and sneezy, so it's a little bit shorter. That's okay. We got the tower built. I got the structure started on that building over there, so it's not finished, but... That'll probably be finished soon. <clears throat> and we got a hide and seek game going. So, if you enjoyed today's episode, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.